hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new content in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a short flyer using photoshop before any further i do let's get started here i'm going to use a five paper size then here is going to be inches then and the resolution i will leave it at 300 then you click on grids here is our working area so and these are the resources i'm going to use in this tutorial so first things i'm going to drag this one into photoshop then you drag it up square it out a bit okay now apply the layer mask then select the gradient tool and you blend the bottom over here this way then reduce the opacity i'll be using 39 it's okay then i will also bring this one then scale it out bring it down here reduce the opacity not that much i will leave it at 52 then apply layer mask select a gradient tool then you blend at the top here it's okay all right then i'm going to bring this image scale it out I will leave it at the center around here. Then I will reduce the opacity. I will leave it at 24. Then apply my layer mask. Select the gradient tool. I will blend over here. Then I will blend the top here. Then click on it again. Then I will reduce the opacity to 17. Scale it this way. Okay. Then I'll bring this one. Then position it over around here. Then apply layer mask. Pick your gradient tool again. Then you blend over here. Then you blend the bottom over here. And you blend the top here. Okay. Then you reduce the opacity. Like this. It's okay. Now, I'm going to pick this red angle. And I'll draw the right angle over here. Then turn off this one. Then I'll drag this one this way. You can see the shape there. All right. Now I'm going to apply this color. This is dark red. Select an ellipse tool. Hold your shift key to draw a perfect cycle. Leave the color at white. Then I'll position it around here. Then I'll bring this church logo. Reduce it. Then I'll position it over here at the middle. Okay. So this is how it comes. All right. Now I'm going to select this one, 
Ctrl G to group it and I will name it as my background. Okay, now I'm going to copy this test here, Ctrl C, select your test tool or press T on, the, on your keyboard for test tool. Then Ctrl V to paste. I'm using the font Tahoma. Then I'm using the dark red. Then reduce the font size. Then Ctrl J to duplicate it. Highlight it. Come over here to copy again. Then Ctrl V to paste. Then I'm going to change the font color to red. Then now I'm going to space the character. Then change it to regular. Then Ctrl A, apply vertical alignment. Then Ctrl D to deselect. Okay. Then come over here again. Then I'm going to copy this test here. Ctrl C. Select your test tool. Ctrl V to paste. Then I'm going to select the color from this area. That is from the logo. Then make it bold. Then come over here to close the character spacing. Then open it to make it more bigger. Then Ctrl J to duplicate it. And you copy this one. Then Ctrl V to paste. Change the color to this one. Then change the fonts. I'm going to use Master of Break. I'm going to change it. I'm going to type it. Then make it bigger this way. Control A, apply vertical alignment. Control D to deselect. Then apply a drop shadow. Now leave it like this. Then I'm going to change the color of these fonts to something like this. It's not blending well. Let me try this, I see. This one will be good. Or uh, let me change it to red. Then double click here. Then I'm going to increase the opacity like this. Then hold your Alt key, then you drag the test effects here, then open it. Sorry, I want to apply the test effect on this special anointing. 
then reduce it. Then OK. All right. So let me know under the comments if it's OK like this. Then copy the team, select your test tool, control V to paste. Then I'll change the color to this one. And I'm going to rotate it this way, reduce it, then I'll position it around here. Then copy the test again, select your test tool, then control V to paste, then you scale it out. Then position this one for here now for now. Then select this test. Then apply vertical alignment. Control D to deselect. Then I'll position this one around here. I'm coming for that one again. Then let me finish on this one. So now, I'm going to change the color of this one to red. Then Ctrl J to duplicate it. Then apply white color. Then use your arrow key to move it up this way a little bit. Then Ctrl J again. Select your test tool. Then you change the color to this color here. Then use your arrow key to move it up a little bit this way. All right. So the first one, I'm going to apply a drop shadow. It's okay like this. Now I'm going to duplicate this one. Then and drag it down. Then come over here to copy the test. Then control V to paste. Then change the font to Tahoma. Then make it bold. Close the character space. This is too much. Then I'll leave it at this. Then reduce the size. Then position it around here. Now, we are going to do the same thing we do to the first one. Change the color to red. 
then control J to duplicate it change the color to white then use your arrow key to move it up like this control J to duplicate it again then you change the color to this one then use your arrow key then to move the color this way now i'm going to copy this layer style then come to the first test here right click then you paste the layer style okay so now i'm coming over to this team i'm going to draw the red angle here then i'm going to apply red color then change the color of the team to white so something like this then ctrl c to copy your test then ctrl v to paste Then change the font, make it bold, apply vertical alignment, then Ctrl G to deselect, change the color to red. And you drag it down select the tool then you drag it up here apply vertical alignment then ctrl d to deselect Then Ctrl C again to copy. Then draw a circle over here. Change the color to red. Select your test tool, then Ctrl V to paste, then I'll position it over here, then make this one bigger, then I'm going to cut this one, Ctrl X. Then I'll move this one over here. Okay. Then I'm going to draw another circle like this. Then I'll apply a black color. Then I'll position it over here. 
go to filter blur gaussian blur convert to smart object then you reduce it so i'm going to leave it like this then reduce the opacity so i'm going to leave it this way all right and the next thing i'm going to copy this one then i'll bring this icon Then select your test tool, Ctrl V to paste. Then you reduce the size. Then change the color to this color over here. All right. Then I'm going to draw red tangle over here. I'll leave it at white. Ctrl J to duplicate it. Then I'm going to apply this color here. Then bring this one down. bring this one down this way it's okay then i'm going to apply a drop shadow then reduce the size and increase the spread this way it's okay then OK. So on this one, I'm going to reduce the opacity this way is OK. Then I'm going to group this one. the team Ctrl G All right Reduce the size So something like this. All right. I'm going to reduce the church logo. I'm 
I think it will be okay this way. All right, so that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share.